In this problem, we're given what's called a polygraph test. A uh, polygraph test is a lie detector test, and we want to answer the following question. We want the probability that a person was not lying. So I'm going to go ahead and write down the table over here. So we have POS. That means positive. Uh, that means that the lie detector says the person was lying. The negative, uh, that's negative. That means the lie detector says the person did not lie. The no. No means the actual person did not lie. And then we have yes. Yes means the person is actually lying. Then we have some numbers, 10, 34, 43, and 12. So how do you read these tables? Well, basically, um, there are 10 people that are positive and did not lie. And there are 43 people that are positive and did lie. Right. So um, to figure out all the no's, you would just add up these numbers, 10 and 34. To figure out all the negative results, you would just add up the 34 and the 12. You would add up going across. So like the total number of negatives, so total neg, would be 34 plus 12, which is 46. That's just an example. If you did total lied, like total lied, that would be 43 plus 12. So that would be uh, 45, right? You would just add up all the liars, right? The liars that tested positive is 43. And the liars that tested negative, there are 12 of those. So you would add up the 43 and the 12 to get the total number of liars. That's actually 55, a little typo there. OK, in this question, we want the probability that the subject was not lying. So not lie. Did not, did not lie. So the probability that the subject did not lie is the number of ways to pick someone who did not lie divided by the total number of ways to pick a result. So to figure out uh, the total number of ways to pick a result, all you have to do is add up these numbers, all of them. So you do 10 plus 34 plus 43 plus 12. So if you put this in your calculator, 10 plus 34 plus 43 plus 12, you get 99. So there are 99 total results. So there are 99 ways to pick a result. So the total always goes in the bottom. To figure out what goes on the top, um, all you have to do is figure out how many people did not lie. So you just go to did not lie, which is here, and then you just add up. Just go, just look straight down, right? 10 plus 34 is 44. So 44 people did not lie. Then you can put this in your calculator. So you would do 44 divided by 99. So 0. 0.444, because it wants three decimals. So 0. 0.444, 0. 0.444. All right, so let's try it. 0. 0.444, yes, all right. Is the result close um, to 0.465? It's only close if it's within 5%. So in this case, uh, 0.465, it's really, really close, right? Uh, if the question said, is it close to 0.7, then we would say no, because there's a bigger than 5% difference. But there's only like a, a very small difference here, right? So I would say yes, it's close because there is a less than 5% or 0.05 absolute difference. And that's it. I hope that made sense.